Hey guys, it's Mally and welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about how to build. And what I mean by that is I'm going to be reading you guys this acronym of how you can build yourself to go out and achieve what God has called you to do. So we're going to basically be talking about each letter and what it stands for. But before we begin, just make sure that you are subscribed so you can catch all my videos and make sure that you click the gray bell button so that you will be notified every time I post a video. So we're going to jump right in with our first letter and it is B. B means to break ground. Okay, so have you ever planted a seed or a flower and whenever it starts to grow, it breaks the ground and it starts to grow above and it sprouts. So that is kind of like what we do. Whenever we break the ground, we break the mold, okay? So what I mean by that is if you ever want to go out and achieve something, you're going to have to sprout above the mold and you're going to have to break the status quo. So you're going to have to get out of your comfort zone. And I know that may seem scary, but just know that nothing ever grows in your comfort zone. So you're going to have to step out of your comfort zone for you to go out and achieve anything. So that leads us in to our next letter. Our next letter is U. U is to understand. What I mean by that is you have to understand your calling and gift mix. So here's what I like to think of it as. When people are going out to battle, what do they have? They have weapons, right? So they're given these weapons so they can go and achieve what they've been asked to do, right? So that is what God does to us. God gives us these gifts so that we can go and achieve what he has called us to do. So God may have given people a wonderful singing voice so they can become a worship leader. So you kind of get what I'm saying here. So you have to understand your calling and your gift mix to find out what you're supposed to do. So whenever you understand that, that's whenever you break the ground and that's whenever you step out of the status quo, you get out of your comfort zone and then that's whenever you start to grow in what God has called you to do. So now that is going to lead us into our next letter. Our next letter is I and it is inspiration. So here's what I think of it as. This is you, okay? This is just a water bottle. So you are filled up in your faith, right? Well, you don't just leave the stuff that God has filled you up with. You go and pour it into other people. So whenever you're pouring into other people, if you're not filling yourself up, then you are just going to run yourself dry, right? So that is what I'm saying. Fill yourself up with inspiration from other people. Like, for me, I listen to my parents, obviously, Autumn and Jojo Dawson. Here's a picture of them right here. I also fill myself up by listening to Sadie Robertson and Emma Mae Jenkins. Here's a picture of them right here. And I listen to them and I get their motivation, their encouragement, and it fills me up and it just makes me feel so great that I want to come and film a video and tell you guys a little bit about what I've been filled up with them because I've been so encouraged by them. So whenever you are speaking in other people's lives, make sure that you have that inspiration from other people and most importantly from God so that you will stay filled and you will help fill up. Really quick, I just want to do hop on here and say that I felt, I didn't mention this, but whenever you let other people speak in your life, like I was saying, I listen to Sadie Robertson, Emma Jenkins, uh, Terry Spelfoy, my parents. When I listen to people like that, that's because I know that they're going to fill me up with good things. If you let the wrong people speak in your life, that's whenever it's not very good. So just make sure that if you let people speak in your life, make sure that they are good and positive and they're going to help you with your walk with God. Okay, our next letter is L, and L is to listen. So you can listen to a lot of people in your faith, but the most important part is that you listen to God. There are people that, like I was telling you, that I listen to, and it's like my parents, Sadie Robertson, Emma Mae Jenkins. I listen to them, but the most important voice in my life is always going to be God. Because, so over the summer, I always read the God's General series, and I've already finished them. They were so great. And one of the things that happened was they some of them failed and some of them succeeded. And the reason they failed is because they let the wrong voice speak into their life. For example, Evan Roberts, he's an amazing, amazing person, but at the end of, towards the end of his life, he started listening to a lady that was not good, and he let that, her voice be the loudest voice in his life, and therefore he started failing because of her, and that's just one example of how he let the wrong person speak into his life, and, but then there's other examples of how all these other great ministers, they let the right people speak into their life, they let God be the closest voice that they listen to and that is why they succeeded so um, i just wanted to encourage you guys to really make sure that you're listening to god he's the loudest voice in your life because he's going to guide you in the right direction so now it is our last letter and it is d 
D is to dream. So something that I really admire for my parents is sometimes they just go, they sit on the back porch and they drink their coffee and they just kind of talk about their day and stuff. But one thing that they do is they just dream together. They talk about everything that they want to do in the next week, in the next couple of days, in the next year, in the next month. They just talk about their goals of what they want to go out and do in within a certain time frame. And I just love that because they just dream together and they set those goals for themselves. They keep each other accountable and they just dream. And so one of the quotes that I really love is by Terry Spelfoy. And it says, if you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. So that quote was just amazing. But one thing that I really wanted to say about that is you have to see it in your mind before you can hold it in your hand. So I just encourage you guys to dream. Just think about what you want to go out and do. Put that inside of your mind and then go and do it. So quick recap. Let's just go through all of our letters. And number one was to be break ground. Number two was you to understand Number three, I, was inspiration. Number four, L, was listen. And number five was D, to dream. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Make sure that you go out and share it with a friend. If you guys want to hear more videos, you can click on my profile picture right here, and there are even more videos. Make sure to hit the red subscribe button and the gray bell button right beside it so that you guys can be notified every time I post a video. If you guys have any videos idea for me, you can go in down in the description box right here and you can email me all of your video ideas or you can simply comment down here on this video and also you can go follow me on Pinterest and DM me on there. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you all so much and I'll see you guys later. Bye!